you know? Yeah, we got we got Apostle Rhyme Live on. Y'all about Shemel Shah Brakatha, Apostle. Y'all about Shemel Shah Brakatha. 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 Y'all about
people don't understand that. That's why Paul explained it in detail to the uh, Hebrews, because the Hebrews, they were still, uh, uh, when he wrote the book of Hebrews, uh, to the Hebrews, they were still uh, committing those sacrifices because they didn't know any better. So that's why Paul, being an expert in the law, he went and broke it down to them uh, 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 line by line, you know, and verse by verse, uh, and, and uh, sacrifice by sacrifice to explain to them that, look, you no longer have to do that anymore. All you have to do is believe in Yahweh Shai, because he was the one that took on these these uh, sins of ours as the high priest had to do it every year. That's why he wanted the detail to explain all the different things that were going on in the temple, you know? God, 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 absolutely. And, and, and this, hey, this, brother, sorry, I mean, that, that was pretty much it. I just, you know, kind of wanted to mention that because I heard you going into that. Hey, brother, and hey, like I said, and then the sit down that I did, you know, the book of Hebrews, man, that, that was my favorite book. Uh, when I first came in, it's still my favorite book now because it's, it's so so much greatness in that book. I mean, there's greatness in the whole Bible. But in that book, there's so much uh, that, that explains, you know, the, the, the in-depth, it explains the in-depth uh, of workings of the sacrifice that Yahweh Shai made to, to let uh, people know that, that the, law, the law of sacrifice is, is what's done away with, not, not, not uh, uh, the law in, in general. That's right. Because it's, it's going to be the access to doing righteousness is upgraded. You know? That's it. That's it. You know, so, so now what's left of the new covenant is for the law to be written into our inward parts. There you go. And then once that's accomplished, then the, the second testament is, is, is complete. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, bro, man, I want to hold y'all up. Hey, so I'll see Yeah, yeah, but I'm still gonna just touch on this real quick. Record great. If it don't record, I'm gonna sit down on it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us <laughs> to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, uh, uh, being delivered out of the hand of our father, might serve him without fear, in holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our life. And, 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 and thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, and thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. Okay? To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. And that was done through the sacrifice of Yahusha. Mm -hmm. Alright? Right. So the Spirit was on Zacharias because he understood this is who he was talking about. He's fulfilling all these prophecies. John the Baptist, before uh, uh, before the disciples came into the so called, started started following Yahusha himself, he was teaching. Yeah. He was teaching the people, like, look, breaking the, the Old Testament down, breaking the scrolls down. Look, this and this and that and that. Paul ran into one of his followers that didn't know about the baptism of mm. the house shot. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, so he had, right. had people who were following him. Okay. Also, a few disciples. Yeah. Yep. Well, Peter, Andrew, it might have been one more, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man. Con, con. I want to go into this. So the prophecies concerning your house shot, and, and basically what Apostle Obama was saying was when you read in the book of Hebrews, Paul is given a very detailed explanation of the severity and the meaning of Yahweh Shah's sacrifice and what it meant for the nation of Israel. Okay? That it not through the sacrifices that was happening within the holies of holies anymore. It, it was through the sacrifice that Yahweh Shah made for the nation of Israel that we have access to glory. That we have access to the to, to be glorified eventually, man. Go back into our land and receive of all those things promised. Okay? So this is um, Matthew 27 and 50. Yahusha, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from uh, from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake and rocks, uh, and rocks did rent. Okay? So it says that the veil of the temple was rent. All right? Now, if you look that word up in the Greek, uh, uh, Katapesma uh, is that word for veil. It says a veil spread out in curtain. The name given to the two curtains in the Temple of Jerusalem. Now, your brothers that's on your laptop that are still listening, just type it into Google so you can kind of give a visual example. Okay? Because that's how Jake learned. Jake learned about visual. So type it in so you can kind of get a, a visual of what I'm reading as a definition. The name given to the two curtains in the Temple of Jerusalem. One of them at the entrance uh, to the temple separated the holy place from the outer court. The other veiled the holies of holies from the holy place. So only that when you read in the book of Matthew, it tells you that a high priest had to go in there and commit a sacrifice once a year for the nation of Israel sins to be basically taken away. But that, but that process was done away with because basically the nation of Israel was right totally hulled, destroyed. There was no way any sacrifices could bring us back. You know, death was the only remedy for all the sins that we had committed. The only way that we had access back to that promise that was given was through this updated testament, mm -hmm. a new testament. Look up the word testament and what the word testament is. Mm -hmm. All right? Goes back to that process of sacrifice. All right? Mm -hmm. So now... The New Testament, the new way that this sacrifice is going to be, has been committed unto the nation of Israel, is through Yahawashah. Okay? Yep. So, can we get second uh, Corinthians 3? Yeah. And and I, you, I, he don't want to give them the glory. They don't want to give them the glory. But he deserves all the glory, all the praise. Okay? okay. This is second Corinthians chapter 3, starting at verse 1. Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we as some others epistles of condemnation to you? Or letters of condemnation from you? Commendation. Oh, so like it. Co commendation from you? Verse 2. Ye yeah, are. Because these guys are trying to say that that is according to what they're doing, that they're on point. Huh? All right? Go ahead. Verse 2. Ye are our uh, epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much. As ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Mashiach, 
ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living power. Written not with ink, <laughs> but through the spirit you're receiving all these things, man. Was the things being taught to the written at that time? No. That's why it was a big ass argument. <laughs> They're like, that ain't what it's talking about. The scribes and Pharisees, you know? They didn't have something that feared Because they understood what was happening, man. They saw the star in the sky. They saw the signs coming. Okay, go ahead. Not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. Verse 4. And such have we through Mashiach to, to God word. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sub us like it. But our sufficiency is of power. Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit. Not of the letter, but of the spirit. Right, not of the letter, the law. Right. But of the spirit, man, and that's what Jake refuses to follow. It's a mythical, it's something funny to them to say the spirit. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if you're not in the spirit, you don't understand what we mean yeah. by the spirit. We're talking about the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Alright? Because whenever they put them sacrifices, uh, when they did those sacrifices, that basically reset would reset you in order with the most high. Alright? Huh? That's why the law has to be written inside of us, man. But you ain't gonna get access with that without a sacrifice. It has to be perfect too. Right. Go ahead. I... Come. For the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. <laughs> you ain't gonna die trying to. You, gonna, you, gonna try to you think you gonna be delivered by keeping the law, man? Yeah, man. You got a goat in your backyard. <laughs> you know, that. The lamb you eat, the leg is broken, man. <laughs> You said everything that you do is, is, is you, you sin, you, you wake up sinning, man. You can't keep the law. You can't keep the law for us, man. There is law that we can keep, but come on, man. So got pork in it. Yeah, yeah, everything, man. Everything, everything is set up, up to make us go off because Esau know, know who we are. That's right. Yeah. He's right. in the bread, Yeah. Everything's whack. Go ahead, man. Come. Verse 7. But if the menstruation of death written and engraven in stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses. They couldn't steadfastly behold the face of Moses. Go ahead. For the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. How shall not the menstruation of the spirit... Hmm? The ministration. Oh, so like it. How shall not the ministration of the spirit be rather glorious? The ministration of the spirit is going to be, you know, it's going to... Uh, supersede the glory that Moses had when he had to cover his face to Israel, man, after huh? being in the presence of Yahweh huh? Okay, go ahead. Verse 9. For if the ministration of of condemnation be glory for it's like it, be glory much more doeth the ministration of righteousness exceeding glory. It exceeds in glory. Go ahead. Verse 10. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in, in this respect. By reason of the glory that excelleth. Yeah, man, because the hour I came on the scene, it, it, it dampened the glory of the of the, the law of Moses, man, mm -hmm. underneath Moses. And well, that's, that's right. what gave the law, the scribes, and the wicked scribes, the Pharisees, their power. That's man. what gave them their power at that time, man, because they were the ones dictating those ordinances in the temples. Yeah, yeah. So basically, they control if you get to the kingdom or not. And so sick. now yeah, when yeah. Yahweh Shah came on the scene, it put all of that process away, man. Right. Because huh? Jake wasn't keeping it, man. Jake was wicked. That's hell. And yep. we were reading about that in the, in the Maccabees. That was the same things, same type of things that were going on in in Rome in the time of the Roman Empire. You know. Go ahead. Verse eleven. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Verse twelve. Seeing then that we have such hope. We use great plainness of speech. Mm -hmm. Verse 13. And not as Moses which put over his face that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. Mm -hmm. They couldn't even, they couldn't fully grasp the understanding that they need to have to commit themselves That's right. to that process. That's right. You can only do this through the spirit of Yahweh. Right. Go ahead. Verse 14. 
but their minds were blinded. <laughs> For until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament. Boom. See, <laughs> that veil of, of you doing it is still there. Yep. Especially in this flesh, man. Now, when you get this word veil in the Greek, the word is a kaluma. It says a veil, a covering. Now, you go to the root word of, of, of this right here. And this is what they don't want you to do at IUIC, I know. Sorry. No, I'm not. The word is a kalupto, to hide, veil, to hinder the knowledge of a thing. You see that? Huh? To hinder the knowledge of a thing, to not regard or impute. Okay? So that'll take your understanding a little bit better of what's being said right there in, the, in, in that. You see that? Huh? So read it again. Huh? But their minds were blinded for... Until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament. That's right. Which veil is done away in Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Which veil is done away with in Mashiach. Now you have access to glory. Mm -hmm. To the glory that Lord willing will receive when we go up in the chariots, man. That's right. But right now well, you can't receive of any of that glory. Right. Now when you read about the holies of holies, it says that, you know, you looked up and, and, and uh, basically... Cloud of the Most High was over the top of it, you know. So we can't even be in the presence of that without Yahusha. There's no way you can get up on the chariots without the sacrifice. Man. Not possible. Not you're not gonna receive that glory, that power, man. That's what we're fighting for. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 15. But even until this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Verse 16, nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. The veil is going to be taken away. Go ahead. Verse 17, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Go ahead. <laughs> Verse 18, but we all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. From glory to glory, man. Go ahead. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. You have changed over into the mind of Yahweh Shai. Alright? Right? You, you're being fully persuaded. That's all right? That this is, oh man, oh man. Through the, through, through the Spirit, you learn and read the scriptures and the full understanding of what the scriptures is talking about is coming into you, man. Right. And you believe it and you confess it. No, that's what it's talking about. Because you cannot break the Bible down without the understanding of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Point blank, period. And that's what Paul and that's what Paul was pushing that's right. to the Gentiles, the Israelite farmers. He mm -hmm. wanted. He wanted. I will say he 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 wanted what happened to him to happen to all the Israelite farmers. Mm -hmm. That's why he was so passionate. That's why he went so hard. You know what I'm saying? That's all Paul talking about. My brethren, my brethren, my brethren. Ain't no need that I write under you. This, this, do this, do this. You know what I'm saying? He went in. Until they killed him. You know what I'm saying? Who else did that? Get how shot. He went in until they killed him. All the prophets went in until they killed him. You know what I'm saying? So while we like like earlier we was talking about how that spirit of Antiochus and that spirit of Cain and all that is back in the earth. The spirit of Yahweh Shah was shot too, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. And if you can't goddamn sit in this home. Come on, man. The two heaviest spirits, the two heaviest spirits on our side, Lord willing, we those men. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, ain't nothing else. Right, man. So, with that, you know, anybody else have anything? I got, I got one more. Just um, okay. made a statement earlier going into the mysteries and how the computer was messing up, you know, when yeah. this stuff was being brought out. But I got 2nd Ezra chapter 14, verse 44. In the 40 days, they wrote 204 books. And it came to pass, when the 40 days were fulfilled, that the highest spake, saying, The first that thou hast written, published openly, that the worthy and unworthy may read it. So pretty much, you know, the scriptures, all of it, it's open. You know, everybody can read it. They sell it at Barnes & Noble. It's there, you know. Verse 46, But keep the 70 last. That thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise amongst the people. For in them is the spring of understanding 
the fountain of wisdom in the stream of knowledge, and I did so. And and that's what's happening on earth right now. Too. Gone, gone. The Lord has been given that understanding. Go gone. And the other seventy books is actually the fullness of the understanding, like I was talking about of the scriptures. Right. You know, the the other books they were everybody reads it, but only the ones that understand those seventy last books are the ones that have the clear understanding of your how about Shimei Right. right. You know? Right. And that's what Esau's ultimately mad about, man. The spirit yeah. of the Lord is here, all right, and he's mad, all right. But guess what? These prophecies are gonna come to pass. We're gonna continue pushing this word. Uh, Hopefully, you brothers out there and a few sisters were edified. Want to give all praise to Yahweh, Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Stone, <coughs> blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.